hold your family whatever that hold you back for years that chain is broken tonight that chain is broken tonight I hear the Lord say to me again I feel like prophesying I feel like prophesying there is a woman here I don't know you but you are there hearing me I don't I can't get it whether you're a man or woman get me very well you are holding this medicine in your hand there is medicine in your hand that medicine determine how long you live the doctor told you that every day you must drink that medicine as long as you live take that drug because if you don't take that drug you may not live longer and they told you to take that medicine so everywhere you go you are holding it in your hand but the Lord is asking me to tell you wherever you are bring that drug bring the medicine in your hand wherever you are in this crowd the Lord is asking me to tell you wherever that man or woman is bring that drug bring it bring that drug bring it where is the drug I wait for you at the count of three I'm still preaching if I don't see you I am through with it I count one when I count three I am through with it you are you came to this ground you have the medicine the person God is talking about is having the medicine there the medicine is in your hand the medicine is in your hand it's a drug you take every day you must take it you must take it every day to survive you must take it every day to live you just keep taking it they tell you if you don't take it something will go wrong I count three number one just number one if I don't see you I'm through with that number two once I count number three if I don't see that woman I think that one also is gone but I'm waiting for you you have the drug the person God is talking about you have the drug in your hand the medicine is right in your hand you live by it you must take it every day if not something will go wrong everybody wave your hands and worship him 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 worship the Adonai worship the Elohim worship the mighty God worship the lily of the valley worship the bright morning star Mandege debo satalaba yende lege debo riakasa raka papa paka soturima yende lege debo shanta yika lara baba basente robobosa yende le braga da baseke lebo sha yeke papa baka sente robobo kosia rende lege debo shanta lara baba yika lara baba basente robobo kosa yende braga do shanta lara baba yika baba basoturi baba hana wherever they make the charm wherever they make it that you operate in your mind tonight that yoke is broken in your family please see that i'm still preaching before i round up i want to tell you there is a big problem that god have what is this big problem the problem of god is not that he cannot deliver you the problem of god is not that he cannot save you the problem of God is not that he cannot heal you. I hear in my spirit. The problem of God today. Is the same problem that God had from the beginning. And that problem is simple. How do I make my people believe me? That whatever I say I will do. I will do. This is the problem that God had with Israel. Every time he keeps telling them. I am God. I swore by my name. I swore with an oath. I will change your life and God kept saying it but every time he says it after some time Israel will go back turn their back against the Lord why because they went out of Egypt but their mindset is still in Egypt God delivered them from bondage spiritually they are free physically they are out of bondage but in their mind they are still in that bondage there are many many people hearing me right now that God have delivered but in their mind they are still in bondage there are many people hearing me right now but God said tonight break that yoke of uncertainty can you ever believe God can you ever say to God I believe you can you ever say to God I know here tonight I release my mind I release my heart oh James may have broken your heart can you still believe that God can give you another better person can you just believe God because today whatever you lay your hand upon from now believe that it will work 
believe that you can never start anything without finishing it believe it strongly with your heart this is 2015 not 2014 2014 may look rough but 2015 is a better year the glory of the lord is upon the altar and the power of god is in the midst of his people and i need you to understand as i round up this message that god never failed that in few minutes from now the yoke breaking power of god will move in this place wherever they have tied you whatever is working against you this night the yoke will break i know god never failed i know god never disappoint i remember last time a woman came this woman has a son and the son about seven eight years old in the hospital the boy will just open his mouth like this and start pouring blood the blood will be pouring the blood will be pouring the blood will be pouring and suddenly after staying like three weeks in the hospital the doctor called the widow inside the room and said to the widow madam i think you have to enter spiritual this thing i don't know what to say this is against our medical whatever but you have to do something about it we are treating but it's not changing anything and the woman look at it where do i go to she carried her son and start running around suddenly something came to her heart why not take your son to the blessed sacrament she took the son rushing down to the altar but what she never knew is that that same friday night was a miracle day it was a miracle day going on in the church and a miracle service was going on in the church and the topic of that night says that god can do all things and as the woman was at the back running coming in i was simply preaching and saying there is no sickness god cannot cure there is no problem god cannot change there is no bondage god cannot liberate there is no body god cannot save his life i was screaming it on top of my voice i was shouting it that god is able that god can change everything trying as much as i can to convince the people to know that god never failed as i was saying it it's like the devil saying son yes enough you have one at your hand right now i just see the woman run inside running to the altar with the son and immediately the son gets here he release his mouth and the blood pour and the blood sprinkle at the altar and everybody was like ha as the woman was running people were dodging their head people were dodging them say why the mouth opened and blood were pouring the blood were pouring the blood were pouring and i look at my back the priest was at my back and father said gibson then what do we do i said father i don't even know now and father said don't you think this child should go back to the hospital i said father i don't know but i guess this child must be coming from the hospital so what do we do we started thinking what do we do what do we do what do we do what do we do as we were thinking it in our mind i hear the lord say in my spirit challenge me by my word and i took my bible the same way i did right now and i threw it on the floor one and i said if this boy die if this sickness continue after tonight everyone here don't believe that jesus is alive in the eucharist but if this boy becomes a heel right now then believe it that jesus is in the altar and i said in the name of jesus christ of nazareth get out of this boy and instantly the boy stretch and stretch and everybody thought he was about to die i thank god because he's a miracle working god sometimes he kills and raised back to life the boy stretched and fell down and people thought he's gone by the time he will get up god have done a lot of surgery god have done a lot of things hallelujah immediately the boy just come back the next thing he did was to use his clothes to start cleaning the blood cleaning the blood cleaning the blood and people were watching drama remember everyone was running before so they were watching drama what is happening as they finished cleaning the blood he turned around and turned around 
like someone looking for the mom and could see the mom and he ran and grabbed hold of the mom and immediately all over in the ground the power and the presence of god came alive the spirit of miracle was released instantly why i know one thing about miracle once one is healed the second one heal the third one may be healed somewhere god takes time to move but once he starts moving once the glory begin to move he move from one hand to another hand to another hand until the temple is filled with the glory of the lord and when the glory of the lord fill the temple people become healed on their own and that is what i'm expecting here tonight because you are about running a race i hear the spirit of god saying on your mark set because 2014 race have just started 2015 race have just started and this year by 2015 december what you have never accomplished in your life you will make it this time around it is my prayer as you live here as you live here today as you live here today coming back tomorrow some of you on the road you will discover you are healed some of you some of you the contract you have lost before i need you to go back apply again for the contract where you have lost your job you need to go back because wherever you have lost before you are going to win this time around help me tap your neighbor said i'm going to win this time around losing your mind losing your mind losing your mind because you are going to make it this time around change your world change your world tell your neighbor i'm going to make it this time around it is my prayer that when you will live here i pray god i pray god that is a life in the altar that someone something that will give me joy is a someone that will live here today even if you are thinking i will die you will suddenly find your joy again i don't know i pray that someone who want to hang himself will suddenly change her mind and say no i choose not to die someone who have been saying i can't have that child again we suddenly say no i'm going to have not even one i'm going to have children i'm going to excel somebody who think there is no road can find the road all over again because i know with god all things are possible with god all things are possible whatever you have failed before this time the yoke is broken in your life i i, I look at you look at you i said the yoke is broken in your life oh my god i can see celebrities 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 i say you shall be celebrated this year you shall be celebrated this year you shall be celebrated over there you shall be celebrated at the back you shall be celebrated i say you shall be celebrated this year you shall be celebrated i say this year you shall be celebrated make a joyful noise unto the lord me tap the neighbor say you may not believe this tap the person at your back say you may not believe it tap the person by your left hand side say you may not believe it even whether you believe it or not it cannot change this one oh whether you believe it or not will not change this one tap your neighbor say you may not believe it tap your neighbor again say you may not believe it look at him say whatever you believe does not consign me whatever you believe do not consign me at all at all at all because this year i am moving forward this year i am breaking record this year i am excelling this year i am progressing this year i am prospering this year i am married this year i am fruitful this year i am here this year i am going to make it 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 make a joyful noise unto the lord can i tell you the truth let me look at your neighbor again say neighbor say to him neighbor i may have failed before i cannot fail again i may have failed before i tell you the truth i cannot fail again tap him again say i may have failed in 2014 look for seven people tell them i cannot fail in 2015. my god my god my god my god my god I cannot fail in 2015. I tell you nothing but the truth. I tell you nothing but the truth. Can you stand on your feet and look at your neighbor? Say neighbor. neighbor. 
Do you know the truth? Shout it upon the Do you know the truth? The limitation over my life has been broken. Tap him again. Say, Do you know the truth? Say it again. Do you know the truth? The limitation over my life has been broken. 2015 is my year. Somebody celebrate, celebrate. find your joy. I can see you believe again. I can see you have confidence again. I can see you know you will make it. I can see you. No more limitation. No more limitation. No more barrier. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Somebody celebrate. I prophesy to you in 2015 whether the devil like it or not you must be honored whether the devil like it or not whether your boss like it or not i don't care i don't care but i want to announce to you right in your company you must be honored in that your family where you married to i pray for you in between your in-laws i say you must be honored if I have rejected you before, I prophesy to you every embargo of disgrace all around you. That embargo have just been lifted. Somebody jump on your feet and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I can see everything. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Thank you, Father. Tap your hands. Turn around for my good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Instrumentalist, hold on. Do you know what God is singing in my heart? Can I teach you? Can I teach you? Last year, I spoke on come out of Babylon. And I told you when the finger of God wrote on the wall and he said, Nebuchadnezzar, time up. Do you know God is telling me again the finger is writing again? Can I tell you what is writing? Can I tell you what is writing? So when you go home today, memorize it. You can say to yourself, I can see the finger of God rewriting my story. The finger of God rewriting my story. I can see the finger of God. Yeah, the finger of God. Somebody write. Rewriting my shame. Rewriting my pain. Rewriting my story. I can see the finger of God. Rewriting my story. The finger of God. Oh, yeah. We're right in my 
writing for you. We are telling what is writing. What is he writing? Begin to prophesy. What is the Lord writing? What is the Lord writing? What is the Lord writing? Open your mouth. What is the Lord writing? What is the Lord writing? What is he writing? What is he writing for your family? What is the Lord writing for your children? What is the Lord writing for your marriage? What is the Lord writing for your family? What is the Lord writing? What is the Lord writing? What is God writing for you? What is the Lord writing for you? What is the Lord writing for you? What is the Lord writing? Writing, writing, writing. Oh my God, the Lord is writing. The finger of God is writing. My God, the power of God is writing. Somebody's story, somebody's story. I can see story. The Lord is writing. you see the finger of God and he's writing a new story for you. You are going to tell the Lord, from today every old story in my life comes to an end. Some people, it is story of nothing works. Story of no child. Story of miscarriage. Story that I apply, it never work. Story I'm so close to promotion, they will not give it to me. A new story must start from tonight. Lift up your right hand to heaven. You are going to pray and say, God, I cancel every old story over my life. I'm not going from this place with that old story. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. The man on the keyboard, go on. Every old story over my life. Story of no child. Story of no husband. Every old story of my life. Jesus we pray I can't hear your better amen here tonight the last prayer point I have for you tonight to deal with uncertainty you must change the record in the sight of God Jacob discovered the only way to change and break the yoke of uncertainty what did he do when Esau failed when Esau said, I will not take back for an answer. Jacob decided and said, my children stay one side. Cattle go to the other side. And Jacob rested with God. 
and as jacob was wrestling with god god made an announcement and he said jacob you have wrestled with god and won and you have also wrestled with man and you win in other words when a man touched the hand of god automatically he changed the heart of the man that is destined to favor him immediately jacob break loose and attracted favor of god the bible said immediately Esau saw him Esau hug him and Esau said my brother my brother there is no need to fight jacob is there any jacob in the house tonight you are going to rest with god you are going to tell god 2015 rewrite my story 2015 every heart that will favor me right now must melt 2015 every bondage in my mindset must crush down lift up your two hands to heaven are you ready for it if you want to kneel down to pray this prayer we are kneel down you want to cry out to god you want to weep to god and say to him every limitation set in my mind every limitation I break it down tonight I will not let you go change the story of my life I don't want to complain again are you ready to pray once I count one two three you burst out into prayer instrumentalists you begin to worship God at the background for me as they worship and invoke God into this place the Lord promised that his glory will fill this place then you will pray and pray every bondage in my mind every limitation in my mind anything around me that makes my life useless every frustrator of my efforts lose your grip over my life one two three open your mouth and turn into prayer bust out into prayer bust out into prayer all you people Every limitation of my life for the power of the Lord is in the You will never lose, never lose the way. For the power of the Lord is in the Every negative bridge in my mind. I break you down. You will never lose the way you came. I will not be sorrowful again. For the power I will not be sorrowful again. You will never lose the way that you came here today. For the power of the Lord is in the presence of the Lord is the glory of the Lord is in the power of the Lord is in the Lord is in Anointing all the
In Jesus name we pray Stand on your feet everybody I want to round up in the next five minutes Lift up your two hands to heaven everybody Stand on your feet Lift up your two hands to heaven All eyes closed briefly Lift, your, uh, lift up your two hands to God Lift up those two hands to God right now I want you to close your eyes right now. There are about 17 people here tonight. 17 people. People have said you can't cross this limit. In your family, nobody break through that limit. You are still so long there, but the right, the Lord said you will break it. As close your eyes, all of you get into your father's compound right now. Can you get to your village and stay in your father's compound right now? Are you in your father's compound right now? Are you in your father's compound? My father, my father, my father. We are going to shout Holy Ghost fire seven times. Wherever they tie you, that limitation in your heart. That have hold you, you can marry 17 of you. 17 of you get ready the yoke is about breaking somebody help that lady there that is number one holy ghost my god 17 of you that is number one that is number two Santo Pragada Santa Labaha. i hear the lord say to me there is somebody in somebody's office a man in somebody's office that say you will not have that promotion but the Lord said tonight as you shout this fire I'm going to remove that man for you you are going to take his seat I don't know who God is talking about right now wherever they hold you bound wherever they tie you up Holy Ghost my God 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 Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Oh my Father, oh my Father, oh my Father. Lift up those two hands again. Remember we are going to number seven. There are seven ladies hearing the sound of my voice. All you see in your life is disappointment. And you always notice it's like a cop webs around you around your head but right now the lord said as you call my name as you call my name as you call my name by the power in my name i will break the chain i will break the chain and i will lose in you i will free you again one shout his name now lift up your hands to heaven I'm going to shout number one, two, and three. Once I shout it, I'm true. But as I call that number one, anyone they have hold bound for years. Father, you are not a man, but you are God. I lift up my Bible before you. Prove to every woman, girl or boy, that you are life. That your power is bigger than occultic power any man future that have been tied woman future tied girl future tied to the yoke of uncertainty as i call you at one let wherever they tie them wherever they start and they never finish wherever they move up and they crash father as i shout one let wherever the rope is let the rope break. Get ready now. Get ready now. Get ready now. Get ready now. One thou power of God. Move. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That is number one. That is just number one. That is just number one. That is just number one. That is 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 number one. Thank you, Father. Help that lady. Don't let her wound. Help her. My God. 
Somebody help the other one over there. Help the other one over there. My Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hand. The number two is coming. The number two is coming. The number two is coming. Anywhere they have put your picture. Anywhere they have taken your name to for evil. The power of God is coming. By the instruction of God. The Lord is asking me to shout number two again. And I want to obey him and shout it. Just lift up your hand. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Not by power, nor by might. Lord, I raise up my Bible again. As a sign of your presence. Prove again that you are more powerful than every evil author. One, two, thou power of God. Move. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help that woman there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My Father. My Father. My Father. What a night. 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 We give you glory. What a night. Lift up your hand. My time is gone. I want to say the third time and I close you for tonight. I want to say for the third time and I close you for tonight. We worship you, Father. Wherever that woman, that man is. That is stopping from the power of stagnation. You have stand at the point for years. As I call number three tonight, the power of the Lord will hit you and break the camp over your life. Every negative camp they are built around you. Every negative camp they are built around you. That your life begins to move on a circle lately. I speak to you right now. By the power of God and I raise up my Bible to you in heaven. Right now. One, two, three. The power of God. Move. Yes, he's gone. Yes, the Lord is moving. Yes, the Lord is moving. Yes, the Lord is moving. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. Everybody lift up your hands and thank him. Wave your hands to the Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. If you believe something happened in your life, why not just wave your hands and thank him? Say, thank you, Jesus. If you believe that you have a new life, a new future, somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. If you believe that you are unstoppable from this moment, if you believe from your mind that you can achieve anything this year, jump on your feet and shout hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor you will see what the Lord has done in my life. Thank you, Father. Put your hands together for Jesus. He's awesome.